The goal of the Mars CT project is to develop a medical imaging technology that provides more information to doctors to make better diagnoses. The system works by shining x-rays through an object or at the patient. Unlike traditional systems, we are able to measure the wavelength or colour of the x-rays as they pass through. Sometimes people refer to this as colour x-ray imaging. In a traditional x-ray system, you have an object, sometimes called a patient, an x-ray tube, an x-ray detector, and a pattern recognition system, sometimes called a doctor. Over the years, imaging technology has continued to develop three-dimensional x-ray systems called CTs or computer tomography, MRI which is used as magnets, ultrasound which uses sound waves, and PET imaging which uses, uses radionucleotides. With our technology we can separate iodine and bone as well as other materials. CT systems work by shining x-rays through an object to produce a 3D picture. In a standard CT, multiple energies or wavelengths pass through the patient or the object to give a single image. In a dual energy CT, two X-ray sources are used which pass through the, the patient to produce two separate images. With our Mars CT, we pass a range of energies, frequencies or wavelengths through the object and then separate them out into different images which tell us about the different materials within the object. There are lots of applications of this technology. Initially we've started looking at the use of multiple radiological pharmaceutical agents, new pharmaceutical agents and improved soft tissue imaging. Often when people have a CT of their abdomen, we do three scans, one without contrast, one with contrast and one about 15 minutes later. With our technology, we are able to do all three scans in a single pass, reducing time for the patient and reducing radiation dose. With the technology we are able to develop new radiological pharmaceuticals. For example, we are developing particles that contain gold that track into the liver. Another application is to improve soft tissue imaging or intrinsic imaging. For example, we can see here that the bone has a separate x-ray colour than the background tissues. We've just heard about the applications uh, of this technology. In order to get the data, we need a scanner. And this is the scanner, the Mars CT scanner. Inside here, there is a, an x-ray tube and various other pieces of apparatus. Um, and of course the sample, and I should be taking it in rather than out. I've got a sample here on a tube that I can mount in there very simply. So we, this rotates around the sample to get the uh, CT image. The key part of getting that CT image is the detector chip, and I've got one here mounted on a printed circuit board and on an aluminium plate that we put in there to mount it. The X-ray chip itself, the detector, is 14 millimetres square and it can count the individual X-rays as they come in very fast, 100,000 a second per pixel. And the 65,000 pixels there, so they can count very fast and the information is fed out through here, through the electronics in here, through to the computer. The Mars CT technology uh, has a pipeline where you first scan the sample that you want and then you have to reconstruct that series of images to give you a 3D result and then you uh, need to work with that quite a bit and, and finally you want to interact with it as a, uh, as a biologist or a radiologist. So each of these three main steps has of course many um, individual steps within it and we've got various research students and, and uh, other workers working on these different steps. So what we see here is the uh, scanner uh, in its box. And you can see inside a little bit of it. This is in the assembly area of the electronics workshop. 
University of Canterbury and here are some of the parts that have been seen with us. The Canterbury, the projects around, uh, and the nice finished product here. It's the uh, X-ray tube inside the sample that you might want to put in, and the detector. At the processing and reconstruction stage, we need to take the images taken at different energies and uh, process them, reconstruct them as 3D objects. Through 3D objects is a usual way of looking at it, uh, but you can then look at them in three dimension, as a three-dimensional uh, skeleton and the heart and lungs of a mouse. In this picture of the heart, it's got iodine in it and uh, it's showing up yellow, and the lungs have got barium in it and it's showing up a bluish color. The future for the technology is bright. We'll have better diagnosis and better treatment. Nanoparticles will lead to functional imaging and we'll have more information about the soft tissues of the body such as cartilage and joint and the atheromas that develop in heart disease.